sun, or make a bed of green atop a wide open sea. In love. Hello, you guys. So I'm about to get ready. It's currently 2:50 p.m. Tuesday, February. I can't pronounce that. 28, 2023. So one of my nails fell off while I was moving the sofa. It fell off. I'm about to stick it back on. I do have two nail glues that I sort of can't live without. It's the Glamnetic and the Ardell Nail Attic. I washed the nail that fell off. I don't think this is going to work. So the Glamnetic nail glue is only good for, I believe, like when it's fresh nail. Like a fresh, brand new set of nails. But the Nail Addict really does work for any purposes. This glue is so strong, the Nail Addict nail glue. This one seems strong. So my dad is home now. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. But basically, I'm going to do my hair. I just need to brush my hair with my favorite brush, which is the wet brush from the Hello Kitty um, set. Yeah, seems pretty stuck on there. So I live by the nail attic glue. And these are my nails. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. It takes like maybe 10 minutes to apply your full set of nails. So next I have to apply this new... Um, Brand new main magic 10 in 1 primer for fine hair by Eva New York City, I believe, or NYC, powered by argan oil plus some sunflower seed oil. You can find this at your um, Target or your Ulta Beauty. It just looks like this, it's very, very useful. And the spray is like one of those, um, it sprays out like a Tangle Teaser Mist Spray, um, at Ulta, they sell them. But this one is very unique, I've never really seen anything like it, a product that sprays like a, one of those mist sprayers.
Okay, you guys, this is the final look. Take a good look at it because it kind of sometimes, depending on if I use hairspray or if I brush it out, it kind of dies down. But basically, this is the final look using a straightener. I really, really like it. Now I think it's time for me to do some sort of makeup. Just because I want to feel good. And I did write on my board, looking good means feeling good. So, there's nothing wrong with not wearing makeup and not doing your hair. So this is pretty much how I'm going to pin back my hair. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some LA Colors Face Primer. I'm just going to put a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit of foundation, just a tiny bit. I'm going to pump it in the back of my hand, just a little bit. And then I'm going to work my way around. I need just a tiny bit more. And honestly, I have no idea what I look like right now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I love e.l.f. Okay, that's in the foundation. Now I'm going in for the... Oh yeah, this guy here. And I'm going in with the foundation. So my favorite thing to use right now is a CoverGirl Easy Breezy Shape Plus Define Eyebrow Gel. And it's really bomb because it gives you that Instagram eyebrow, but it also gives you like a super, like basically you can use it to make your eyebrows look way thicker. So that's what I like. And I also just like to make sure I wipe off any extra product that's on the brush do this this is too thick for my liking like dark I mean but I have to like kind of remove any unnecessary Things I don't like. Then I'm just taking this one as well. I like colors high shine shea butter lip gloss. Then I'm taking, I think this is enough makeup, I don't need a lot. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, I'm done. This is all I wanted to do for today. I'm going um I'm going to take a picture of my makeup that way you guys can see 
an up close shot of how I did and how my even my hair turned out today. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It took me about 47 minutes to get my nail on. I don't remember if I had it on camera, but if I didn't, then I did at least my makeup and my hair on camera. So basically, um, this is my makeup and hair. Uh, I got ready in... I started, I don't remember at what time, but now it's almost 4 p.m. Okay, thank you guys just for watching this portion of the video, even if it wasn't the most unique. But, I mean, this is the type of videos I like to film, so I hope you guys enjoyed.